Rusty Wallace, you said look over the 14. You was right. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. I got to see the last five laps of the race I took it home from work so uh, and uh, really don't know what happened I just I've looked it up on the internet a little bit so I know a few things what went down the cautions and stuff but uh, I want to say Rusty you nailed it I should have put Boyer in my top five uh, I should have kept Truex in my top five I should have never took Martin out because he's gonna finish top five every week so Unless they're a Daytona or Talladega, so I won't make that mistake again. Uh, but <laughs> Kyle tried his hardest there. I was watching, he was just a little bit off. Clint just had too much. But congratulations to Clint Boyer, man. Well, it's been seven years or something like that since he's won. So, uh, great job for him and Stuart Hall's racing. That was awesome. See, uh, But I do agree. I, you know, I was watching Charlie NASCAR with his video today, and I agree with him. You know, Brian France, what an idiot. Well, they got lots at Martinsville. They knew people had to get up and go to work this morning. They know that a lot of race fans wanted to see this race. And why couldn't they have waited to 5, 6 o'clock tonight, turn on them lights, and let them race? The temperature ain't going to change that much. Actually, it would have probably got warmer as night going along. Because there's a little bit of a warm front coming through, but uh, anyway, congratulations goes out to uh, Clint Boyer, and uh, let me pull up my things here to take a look here. We'll talk about the results and stuff. Uh, well, Clint Boyer wins his first race in a long time. Kyle Busch, the guy I picked, finished the second. Uh, Ryan Blaney, I had him top five. He finishes third. Uh, Martin Truex Jr. fourth, which I should have put in there. Kyle Busch fifth, which I had, or Kevin Harvick was fifth, which I had in there. So I did have three of the top five again. I mean, so close. Uh, but Alex Bowman with a good run seventh. AJ Allmendinger. Some of my buddies, mine, called me up and said, "What a run AJ Allmendinger's having." They said he's having a great run, and he's driving his butt off. And I guess the results prove for it. So. Chase Elliott ninth, Kozlowski, Kurt Busch with the 11th. Uh, I guess Kyle Larson 16th. Kyle Larson is, uh, is horrible on his flat tracks. He's definitely, and Rusty was even talking about that, and it, uh, Rusty Wallace. If I, if I miss your name, I won't call you Rusty Wallace, but <laughs> Wallace, but uh, you know, that was a bad pick if you did pick Kyle Larson. I do know there was four cautions today. One of them was a, uh, I guess one, uh, it's thrown out a caution after so many laps and the, uh, the other two was for the stages and they had one, one next wreck all day, I guess. Somebody blew a tire or something. So, a lot of my friends said it was kind of a boring race, but uh, I love Martinsville and I love the race. And I hate them and had to miss it. Thank you, Brian France. But, uh, You know, from if you go to stage one, Denny Hamlin pulling that stage off with uh, Keselowski, Blaney, Bush, and uh, Boyer. Stage two goes around Blaney. Boyer again, second. Boyer racked up the points today, guys. Big pump points. Bush, Keselowski, and Hamlin, who ranked up some pretty good points too today, went up stage two. Like I said, the four cautions. And I guess there's only one car not running at the end. It's London Castle. He had some rear rear gear problems or something. So uh, he was out for that. But uh, I wish I could have seen that race. Uh, it is what it is. I'll get to see other races. It's not the end of the world. But uh, anyway, if you take a look here at the point standings, uh, Kyle Busch holds an eight-point gap over Martin Truex Jr. 
which Martin didn't get some bonus points there in the stages. That's the reason why Bush gapped him a little bit in the points. So Blaney's up the third, Logano, Kasowski, Hamlin, Harvick, Clint Boyer, top eight. He's got his victory, he's in on the chase, and uh, he's eight points. So uh, Larson ninth, Bush tenth. Eric Amarola still hanging around 11th. He's going to make the playoffs whether he wins or not. He's just too consistent. Uh, so we'll see. A.J. Allmendinger moved up to 19th. That really helped him out. That was a huge plus to get him from 19th because he's closer to 16th. we got to be at the end of those 26 races. So with that being said, uh, that was a... Uh, I'd love to see it, which I'll probably watch a replay of it. But uh, John Hunter and Emmerich went in the turf race. I did get to see a few, few uh, laps of that race, which it looked like it was pretty, pretty good, exciting racing. So uh, that was pretty interesting there. Uh, but we'll see. I mean, uh, Martinsville's a tough racetrack. Well, like I said oh, again, I'll, I'll never. Never doubt True Rex again. I don't know. I might have it's his worst racetrack. But the guy's finished second and fourth in the last two races there, so that won't happen in the fall. True Rex will be in my top five come next fall. May not be as the winner, but he'll definitely be in my top five, so uh, we'll go from there and uh, see what happens. And. Uh, So where it goes from there, but uh, let's take a look here. I was going to look at some stuff. You see, now I had Jimmy Johnson too, and a lot of my friends had said Jimmy Johnson was running in the top 10. In the first stage or so, I'm sitting there thinking, you know what, well, I might be right. He might actually stick a very good top five. But he faded there at the end, and uh, a lot of people picked Chase Elliott, and uh, I hate to say this, guys, but Chase, ever since he got busted with that rear rear suspension deal, it hurt him. Whatever they was doing, it definitely hurt him. And uh, I mean, he might be a good pick for a top ten in the future, but I wouldn't put a win win in your category. But uh, so I was just looking at some people on here with their picks. About everybody says Chase Elliott and or Kyle Bush. Well, Kyle was the right pick. Chase is not the right pick. So if the Chevrolets get their stuff figured out, they they might be okay. But right now they are struggling. I mean they absolutely don't have anything for the forwards. The Toyotas are actually a little bit behind the forwards. So until the Chevrolets get things straightened out, they're they're. Of course, everybody says, well, Austin Dillon won the Daytona 500. Well, of course he won the Daytona 500. Everybody wrecked. And then he had to wreck the guy to win it. So, <laughs> so there you go. But uh, anyway, congratulations to Clint Boyer. And if anybody got all the picks right or whatever, I missed anything. Congratulations on that. I think Charlie said nobody got picks on his channel. So, uh, like I said, I'm up to 40 subscribers. Thanks for all the new subscribers to this channel. Thank you very much. And, uh, Looking forward to hitting that 100 subscriber mark so we can give away, start doing race picks and giving away a Dale Earnhardt Jr. diecast race car. So, I'll see you guys later.